so I just pulled some cards for the energy of the collective and what we are currently experiencing and what came out first of all was the Empress which is a major arcana card and for me this is obviously it means that it's something that is definitely happening and it's something that is probably the most likely within the consciousness of the people this is basically what I'm feeling but what I'm drawn to the most with this is this pregnancy this birthing of something new but the, what it feels like it feels like a birthing of as we've already been saying a birthing of kind of a new way a new perspective something that's been grown from within something that's been manifested from within something that is very sacred as well when it comes to the birth of like a child a physical being that is something that's very sacred something that's very spiritual and what's happening what basically what i'm feeling is that what we are experiencing as a collective the changes that we are currently going through they are sacred changes they are very i want to say very important to our development and where we are heading as a species we then have the eight of cups and for me this is the card of kind of waiting for our stars to align there is this energy of kind of everything that's happening right now in the world in our world here on earth is happening basically the way it needs to happen there's a certain what's coming through right now there are certain forces that do govern our world and there is a going about of situations that must happen because unfortunately certain people have the power and they are going to act in certain kinds of ways and those certain kinds of ways are still necessary to the the program that we're living to the coming about of a new way certain things must be done for people to be able to see that there is negativity in this world that there is darkness in this world and equally with darkness there is light and it takes for the darkness to be seen for people to be able to actually realize and understand that that this experience is based on polarity and it's based and the way that we can strive forward and the best way to strive forward is by accepting and acknowledging all components and accepting them into the wholeness of who it is that we are understanding that yes we are both light and we are both dark that yes that we have good days and we have bad days that yes we are imperfect and it's the imperfections that make us perfect yes that it's the voids that it's the attempt to fill the voids within that enable expansion that enable growth that enable searching for depth and knowledge and mystery this transformation that we are currently having that we have currently brought into the world that we are sorry that we have a people as a collective collective consciousness of grown is something that's been happening i want to say for millennia for many 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 years i want to even say centuries it's something that was kind of inevitable i'm seeing that the opposing the forces of light of have been very stubborn on the growth of consciousness and the growth of light and it feels like it's the time when i want to say that effort is going to be illuminated that effort is going to basically pay off they're going to be able to begin to reap the benefits from the work that the light has put in for a long time it's almost that these light forces are finally ready to oh my god yes are finally ready to come out into the open and let their presence known and it's not that um, they never wanted to be known. It's just that now, in the in them coming out, they are now able to be supported by light workers and people of the public. Whereas, in the past, if they were to come out and say certain things, these people that are working for the light, if they were to say certain things, they wouldn't be supported. If anything, there would be more tearing. The public would have been more likely to tear them down and to basically fight against them rather than fighting with them fighting with the light 
say it wasn't the right time, but now it's time for them to make their presence known, and they are making their presence known, and I'm seeing that if the way that they've gone about it, it's not as big or as drastic as they could have went about it. That's basically how it feels. It just feels like they are making their their presence known and their awareness known in small doses. The Eight of Swords. Now, for some reason, I'm feeling there's this energy of... Well, it's basically within the card, really, of being trapped, of being tied up however there is this energy of breaking free this energy of being to being able to step between the swords and take yourself to freedom but it's almost that it's when this individual is tied up is blindfolded that they finally begin to listen to their intuition that they finally begin to believe in their psychic and spiritual senses their innate natural abilities to get them out of this situation if there wasn't at such a rock bottom, they would not be, they would not believe, basically. It's almost that it's took the people on Earth and it's took us as a species, as a whole, to really kind of hit a spiritual rock bottom. And I want to say a collective depression for us to realise that this isn't the way. And if this isn't the way, that there must be another And then for the final card, I decided to pull from the Starseed Oracle deck and it's cracked open and it says rock bottom, surrender to the alchemy of life. And that's basically what I'm seeing is happening. It's almost like the collective has had this realisation that the way that we've been living is not the way. So if that, is, if that isn't the way and we are kind of bound and stuck to this system that we are we've subscribed to then the only way really forward is to surrender to the alchemy of life but it feels like this is more of a subconscious thing you see how if you was to put this face back together that person the individual's eyes are closed it's almost like the eyes being closed represents the subconscious mind of the of not being necessarily fully aware but the subconscious mind is the is what has surrendered because it, it, within our conscious mind and collectively there's a confusion there's there's this kind of i want to say in the conscious mind there's more of a worry of well if we don't live like this then how are we going to live or this is the only way we can live so we're stuck like this but this is the subconscious mind knows that to surrender i want to say is kind of freedom the subconscious mind's kind of taken over one second I want to say the subconscious mind is giving as a breather for some reason I'm feeling like the subconscious mind of the collective is connected to the higher self of the collective which has brought in the surrender into the alchemy of life because the higher self has a kind of a way of being able to look at things from a higher perspective okay now guys is called the and it's in that surrendering that is enabling this new way to step forward to be accessible okay so basically what it feels like is that we as beings have been fighting for this change this um, new way of life for a while now and what was needed was the surrendering and because so much has happened because we have hit a spiritual low in terms of like, I want to say a spiritual depression in terms of the collective, the subconscious mind has almost had no choice but to surrender. And that is what we needed to do. We needed to surrender, but it took for us to get to a rock bottom to be able to surrender collectively. 
to allow for this coming in of this new way and i want to say this divinity this frequency of love and compassion So that's all. Peace and love. Okay.